Now let's start deploying our FortiGate virtual machine using GNS3. And for those who are not familiar with GNS3, it's a very nice open source free network emulator that you can use to emulate different networks and different appliances. And it has a huge community with a lot of support and a lot of appliances you can deploy and test. So now let's go ahead and log into our Fortinet support portal so we can download the necessary files to deploy our FortiGate using GNS3. Now under download, we would need to go under VM images. And for our FortiGate product, we would need to choose the platform that is supported by GNS3, which is KVM. And we can download the latest version or the previous version. So if we're going to go ahead with 6.4, we just need to download the new deployment file because we are not trying to upgrade. We are trying to make a new device and we can go ahead and download. Now, before we start GNS3, we need to make some changes to our virtual machine supporting GNS3 to allow our GNS3 to support KVM images. And the way we can do this, we will go under edit virtual machine settings. And we need to make sure that under processors, we have Intel VTX option enabled. This will allow GNS3 to have KVM support and allow us to deploy KVM images inside our topology. And in here, we also see the different network adapters attached to our GNS3 virtual machine. We have two different interfaces, C2 host only and NAT. So we can keep using these two network interfaces, but we can also do something even better by adding a different network adapter of type bridge. This will allow the virtual machine to have an IP address on your physical network as if it was completely separate device. So this would allow us to seamlessly access our virtual machine GUI and control our firewall from the browser using the bridge interface. We can add a new network adapter. And for this new network adapter, we change it to bridge and we hit OK. And now we have our bridge interface added to our list. So now to verify everything is good, we can power on our virtual machine. And if you follow these steps correctly, you should have KVM support available showing through. And that means GNS3 is able to run KVM images inside our topology. And now we are ready to start our GNS3 environment and start configuring our FortiGate appliance to use inside our topology. We would need these two files to be able to proceed. First, our Fortinet operating system that we downloaded from the Fortinet support portal. And we will also need the supplementary QCOW file for a virtual desk that we will use to store our Fortinet logs. So consider these two different hard disks, one for our operating system and one for our log files, which is currently empty, but we will use it to emulate a 30 gigabyte hard disk. Now this file you can grab from the GNS3 website. I will also include it in this video so you can simply download it. And now let's jump to our GNS3 environment. And here we will see the different devices and appliances that we added to our GNS3. We have different routers, switches, and in here under security devices, we don't have anything downloaded so far. We can go under edit preferences to add our own. And from our preferences window, we can go under QEMU VMs. And this section would have all the KVM images that we can use in our topology. So right now we have one for Windows 10 and one for Ubuntu. So we can create our own new template this would need to run on the GNS3 virtual machine because it's KVM, so it has to run on the virtual machine. And we will go next. For this, we will just call our template FortiGate, and we can always change our device name later. And for the RAM, we need to increase this to 1024, which is the recommended. We would need to connect to the device using Telnet for console access. We can leave this to Telnet. And now this is the part that we have to define our image file. So we need to create a new image. And first we need to define our operating system, the 40 OS file that we downloaded from the 40 net support portal. We can go ahead and select our 40 OS.qcow file. 
This will be our main disk that contain our operating system. And this is as far as we can go with the initial setup. So we can click finish. And now we have our main device template for 40 gate. We still need to edit this template and add a few more details. For example, the category in here is set to end devices. So we can make it go in the right category by choosing security devices. We can optionally increase the CPU if we need more power, but this should be enough for this image. We can also choose a new icon for this firewall, including the built in icons from here. We can search for firewall and choose one of these options, or we can even use our custom symbol. We can OK to that. And now we have our device correctly defined and we can go ahead under HDD so we can define our second hard disk. So this is our primary master or our boot device that has our 40 OS or our operating system. Now in here we can find our second disk which will be for logs. So we can browse to our 30 gig.qcow file and under network we will see the number of adapters which is the number of interfaces you want to connect to your device. So we want to try different things in our lab so we can increase this to four different interfaces. Now for our four adapters, the naming format will be Ethernet 0 up to Ethernet 3, which is the Cisco format and it's not going to work for our 40 gate, which is named 40 gate board 1 up to board 4. So the numbers start at 1 and also uses board instead of Ethernet. And if we want to fix this format, we want to change this to port and between brackets port 1. So this would let GNS3 node to use the word port instead of Ethernet and to start the count at port 1 instead of port 0. So now we can hit OK and now we have our device fully configured with our custom icon as well. So once we hit OK, now we would have our first security device. We can create a new project to test it out and we can grab our icon to here. And now it's time to turn on our device so we can right click on it and hit start. And we can monitor this process by double clicking on the device. This would send us to the console access for the device. And now our 40 gate has fully loaded. We will see that there has been a signed serial number and also the 40 gate has been able to detect our additional disk file which is the empty 30 gig QCAL file and 40 gig did format this disk and reboot itself. And finally, now we have a shell to the firewall. We can go ahead and log in using admin and blank password. And we will be forced to change our password for the first use. After that, we will have access to the 40 gate inside our GNS3 terminal. Now, in order for us to access this device using our browser, we need to connect it to the cloud feature inside GNS3. And the cloud feature basically allows communication between your host system, which is your operating system running the GNS3 software and any virtual machine inside that topology. So we can go ahead to our GNS3 and choose our additional devices and choose the cloud feature. And in this step, we'll be asked between our desktop or GNS3 virtual machine to run this cloud. So we definitely need this connected to our virtual machine. And inside here, we can connect any interface on the 40 gate to be our management interface connecting us to the cloud. So we can connect our board one, for example, on the 40 gate and connect this to the cloud. And now we will be given these three different interfaces. And those are the same interfaces we previously changed in our GNS3 virtual machine. So if we were to connect our cloud to host only, we would be get an IB address on the host only network. Or if we choose the second interface, we will be given an at IP address. Or the third interface, we would be directly getting an IP address on our network. So our preferred option is to connect it to network adapter 3, the third interface on our virtual machine, which in our case here will be Ethernet 2. So now that we have Ethernet 2 connected, now we can head back to our 40 gate and we can do the command get system interface. In here, if we check up to board 1, now we see we have an IP address on the 40 gate directly on our network. 
we can take this IP address that was acquired via DHCP and we can use this IP address to access our device using the admin password and the password we recently adjusted. Now we have access to our 40 gate GUI using our host system and we were able to achieve this by connecting our KVM image inside our GNS3 topology to a cloud interface that is pointed to a bridge network interface. And that's how you deploy 40 gate image using GNS3. Thank you for watching.